In imperial year 1181, the new Adrestian emperor, Edelgard von Hressfeld, led a strategic assault against the monastery at Gerig Mach. Though her own losses were great, her foes had no choice but to surrender. Archbishop Rhea commanded the Knights of Seros, leading from the front lines against the Imperial army. But amidst the chaos of battle, she vanished, and her whereabouts remain unknown. With this single attack, the Adrestian Empire officially launched its offensive against the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and the Leicester Alliance. The unification of Fodlan has begun. Part 2. Azure Moon. Ethereal Moon. Reunion at Dawn. It is Imperial Year 1185. Nearly five years have passed since the fall of the monastery at Gerig Mach, and war continues to plague the lands of Fodlan. Ferdiad has been captured. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in shambles. The Leicester Alliance is on the verge of collapse, fractured by two opposing factions, those who support the Adrestian Empire and its ruler, and those who seek her demise. Meanwhile, under Emperor Edelgard's rule of law, the Adrestian Empire continues to expand its reach. The path to a new Fodlan, unified by imperial strength, may yet be in sight. You. How long do you intend to sleep? Your body is awake. Your eyes must open now, and you must find the strength to stand upon those legs of yours. Like so much rain, a pool of blood has fallen to the ground. As spears and arrows pierce the earth, it weeps. And even now, it weeps. In order to survive, they kill. And so, the people of this world are lost in an abyss of suffering. They weep as well. The only one who truly knows the nature of such things is I. Or rather, you. Ah, oh, you are a complete and utter fool! Have you not changed one bit? Get on your feet. Right now! I'll coddle you no more! You are just like a child, always needing me to hold your hand. Hey, are, are you awake? We're in a village at the base of the monastery. What are you doing in a place like this? I honestly didn't expect to find someone floating away down the river. Garrick Mach is upstream of here, but that place was abandoned. Huh? You don't know? The Church of Saros isn't there anymore. Though, there have been some folks still living there in the five years since... Well, you know. Anyway, I've heard some thieves have been spotted around those parts these days. Um, are you feeling alright? You didn't hit your head or anything, did you? It's the ethereal moon of the year 1185. It's been nearly five years since the monastery fell. Tomorrow was supposed to be the Millennium Festival, but who's got time to think about things like that? Uh, yeah, that's what I said. But with the war and the Archbishop still missing at all, I doubt there's a soul to be found who has enough blessings worth counting. Hey, slow down, will ya? Where do you think you're going? Are you crazy? I, I told you. They say thieves are running amok up there. And there's plenty of other dangers, too. I heard a rumor that Imperial troops went up there to investigate and got slaughtered. Every last one. Come on, I, I promise I won't say you're a coward. Just forget about going anywhere near the monastery. You just remember I tried to stop you. Got it? It's not on my conscience if you wind up dead.
Unbelievable. I should have known that one day you would be haunting me as well. You. What must I do to be rid of you? I will kill that woman, I swear it! Do not look upon me with scorn in your eyes! Can't be! You're alive? <laughs> if that is the case, that can only mean you are another Imperial spy. Did you come here to kill me? Answer the question. I have been dead, more or less. What do you hope to gain asking me that? There are more important matters at hand. Do you not smell them? Filthy rats everywhere! And traces of those who were here long ago. And thieves crawling from the woodwork, attracted by the promise of treasure. <laughs> Since the monastery fell, order in this area fell right along with it. You must have seen the state of the town near Garrick Mach on your way here. Vile thieves run rampant. They pillage and loot to their heart's content. I must kill them. Every last one. It's time to hunt down their nest. I told you, I will kill them all. It doesn't matter what their reasons are. Someone must put a stop to the cycle of the strong trampling the weak. Or do you condone their actions? Do you believe that the pillaging and slaughtering those rats live for is justified? It is reprehensible and they must be put down! I intend to give them a taste of the pain they have inflicted on others. Even if it means becoming a rat myself, I swore to at least do that much. I will not let them down. It doesn't matter. All that matters is killing those who deserve to die. Good work. I should have known to check the monastery. Let's move quickly. Yes, sir! Dimitri, I'm on my way. It smells of blood and sewage. Seems I found their nest. What the? Intruders! Protect the goods! Shall we go rat hunting? Don't let a single vermin escape!
What's my strategy? I'll comply. See you in the eternal flames. Don't struggle. Too weak for this world. Another victory. I'll destroy you! Eventually, I too will fall. All talk and no action. With each kill, more monstrous. His Highness and Professor? We must speak later. I know it's been five years, but I never expected the monastery to end up like this. Oh, I haven't seen any of you in such a long time. I'm so glad to see you're alive. We'll help out from here. It's over, thieves! Why? Why are you here? I'm your girl. I'm sorry. At your service. I'd be honored. Injuries mean nothing. I'm here to help. No escape! I must lead them well. I may have slowed a step in recent years, but I pledge to you the full extent of my abilities. Thank you. Out of my way! 
too weak for this world. I won't falter. On my honor as a knight! Eventually, I too will fall. It won't be in vain. I'll use this power for the greater good. difficult. Thanks. You have my support. Our plan is ready. I must steal myself. Injuries mean nothing. See you in the eternal flames.
I'm still here. At your service. Long time no see, Professor. <laughs> I always knew in my heart that we'd meet again. Can't afford to lose. I disposed of doubt long ago. I'll destroy you! Eventually, I too will fall. Let's try something. You can't stop us! The monastery has become a nest of thieves. Professor, you're alive after all. But first things first, let's defeat these thieves. I'll lend a hand. We'll catch up later. Listen up. We must end this quickly. Ready when you are. I shall not stray. What's the plan? I'll cut through. Nothing personal. At your service. Let's keep our guard up. I'm your girl. Thank you. What's my strategy? It's time! My orders? I'd be honored. Injuries mean nothing.
shot! Here is something to believe in! It won't be in vain. It all comes down to this. What's Head wrong off, with you? Head off. There are openings to the north and south. We'll split into two and tear them apart. In the name of justice! It's my duty. meant to be impressive <laughs> you took me lightly What's the plan? the plan. All for our future. service. We'll 
recovered this one. Let's turn the table. Oh! <laughs> it is done. Onward. What's my strategy? I'm glad we could meet again, Professor. It'll be nice to fight alongside each other, just like old times. I'm your girl. What's next? My orders? I'll cut through. I'll cut you down! All right, next. We promised five years ago we'd meet, here and now. Hopefully I'll be more useful now. Just... be careful. I was just stronger. What's my strategy? Fancy meeting you here. A welcome surprise. I'll cut through.
Just be careful. Burn until we meet again. Ready when you are. Witness my resolve! My orders? Wasted effort. At your service. Don't bother haunting me. What's my strategy? Where have you been the last five years? I was worried about you, and then I was just sad. I'm your girl. I'll cut through. What's the plan? You fought well. Reassuring. No! I'm not the one you want! Yeah, I 
guess I've got no choice! Strength never betrays. Knew you could do it. It isn't looking good for us. Should we retreat? You didn't plan on letting him get away, did you? This could turn the tides. I expect no less. Injuries mean nothing. What's my strategy? I'm your girl. I'm sorry. Injuries mean nothing. You should yield me a tidy profit. What's the plan? Pull my weight. I thought it would be easy money. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. you're both safe why are you here did you forget we all made a promise on this very day five years ago Dimitri weren't you the one who asked that we all meet up here don't be silly of course you remember our promise 
That's why you and the Professor are here, right? Your Highness, I have been following news of your whereabouts for a while now. I am relieved to have finally found you. Do not call me that. I am not a prince, but a walking corpse. That is what we all believed, but it is not so. I can see with my own eyes that you are alive, Your Highness. But the jail cells in Ferdiad are as solid as they come. How did you manage to... To do? He's dead. He died in my place. I see. We will be sure to honor his loyalty, Your Highness. As for the state of the kingdom, the lords from the western regions have declared their fealty to the Empire, starting with House Roe. Cornelia's band of traitors now refers to kingdom territory as the Farkas Dukedom. They've made Ferdiad their stronghold as they continue to invade the eastern region. She is a mage who has served the royal family for more than 20 years. There is much to tell you. I will explain everything in time. Well, it's not like all of the Kingdom's lords have sided with the Empire. There are plenty of houses, like mine and Felix's, that remain stubbornly opposed. Your Highness, please allow us to take up arms at your side once more. What we need more than anything isn't soldiers, money, or supplies. We need the legitimate heir of Fargus to overthrow the Empire and reclaim the Kingdom. Such is your duty. It is yours alone to bear, and well worth fighting for. Only you can gather our troops and lead us back into the light. I see. So, you all agree that we must fight back. And you see how that woman, how the Empire cannot be forgiven that we must wipe them all out until not a single one of them remains. Wipe them all out? Um, I don't think any of us here are suggesting anything that extreme. <sighs> Professor, there is something I would like to ask you. Please, join me inside the monastery. In the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, Imperial Loyalist Cornelia has subdued all regions of the former Royal House of Blathed to prevent further revolt. Prince Dimitri has been sentenced. Now, the backbone of the former kingdom, Houses Gautier and Fraldarius, struggle to continue the resistance. Cornelia, operating out of the Royal Palace, has accepted the support of the Empire to build an army and plots to wipe out all remaining Kingdom forces. That In the Leicester Alliance, House Regan leads an anti-Imperial faction, while House Gloucester directs the Empire's supporters. Despite the undeniable threat of fracture, the Alliance's adept new leader, Claude, deftly maintains the outward appearance of a unified front. In Enbar, the imperial capital of the Adrestian Empire, Emperor Edelgard fights to strengthen her regime. She has extended her reach to the kingdom by inciting a coup and continues to draw its former lords under her influence in pursuit of controlling all of Western Fodlan. In the meantime, the Knights of Seros have been dispatched to find Archbishop Rhea, who remains missing despite their searching. Left unattended, the monastery at Garag Mach has fallen to ruin and become a haven for thieves. To think you survived under all that rubble for the past five years. I suppose stranger things have happened, odd as that is to admit. There is still much I would like to ask you, but I think that's enough for now.
On that day five years ago, during the battle with the Imperial Army, Lady Rhea went missing. Since then, the Knights of Seros have continued searching for her, and for you. I hear they have yet to find any promising leads. As the Empire has yet to release a statement, it's hard to imagine that she has perished. And yet... No, never mind. Once news of your survival gets out, everyone will flock back to the monastery. After that battle, a certain... incident took place in Ferdiad. Rufus, who was serving as King Regent, was murdered. I was once a knight in service of the royal family. I resigned from the Knights of Seros and returned to serve the kingdom. However... This is madness. You truly claim that His Highness is the one who killed Rufus? Oh, but it's true. The only one who could slip past the bodyguards and kill so efficiently is the young prince. You can't deny it. Rufus is Prince Dimitri's uncle. His Highness is incapable of such an atrocious crime as murdering his own blood. Ah, but they were never very close, were they? It's a well-known fact among former retainers. There are even rumors that Rufus was originally involved in the tragedy of Dusker. Perhaps His Highness believed those rumors and murdered Rufus in a fit of rage. You shouldn't have missed your chance four years ago in Dusker, or two years ago during the suppression of the Rebellion. That's twice you failed to kill him. <laughs> but I'm afraid none of that matters now. Cornelia, do not tell me that you... The decision has been made. His Highness will pay for his crime with his head. His sentence will be carried out the day after tomorrow. On that day, the royal bloodline will come to an end. All you have left to do is sit back and watch, you senile old fool. Watch as the kingdom you love falls to ashes. It was soon after announced that his sentence had been carried out. With His Highness's death, the royal bloodline of House Blathed was erased from this world. True to her word, all we could do was watch as she tore the kingdom apart before our eyes. Since the execution and the prince's corpse were concealed from the public, there have always been those who believed His Highness was still alive. As for myself, I only began to hope three years ago, when I chanced upon some compelling rumors. An Imperial platoon attacked without warning. Incident after incident of Imperial generals being slaughtered in Kingdom territory. It is said that each died in such a brutal, gruesome way that it is hard to imagine they were killed by human hands. I followed the rumors to location after location. Eventually, I had seen enough. I knew the rumors were true. Finally, after a half decade of torment, it happened. I found him. Oh, I fear his deep hatred and the weight of his solitude have consumed him for far too long. We must bring him back from the edge on which he stands. To that end, I must speak with His Highness. I imagine it will not be a quick or easy conversation. I pray that he is of a mind to speak of such things. I am certain that my words will... Uh, never mind. What must be done, must be done. I would wager that you are weary after the day's events. Perhaps you should take this opportunity to get some rest. <laughs>